East King County has always had a major shortage of affordable housing, but working directly with these families, the Habitat families, over the last few years has really brought it home to me. There are so many families who can be successful, who can live up to their potential if they have the opportunity to partner with Habitat and to own a home of their own. Home ownership is such a, a fundamental part of it because we care about our neighbors more, we care about our homes more, we care about our community more. Um, that all stems from home ownership. The median price of a house in East King County has risen to over $600,000. That's up 50% in the last two years. The median income in East King County hasn't increased and so the gap is widening for affordable housing in East King County. The families that we serve on East Kings County are the families that I live with. They are teachers, they are firefighters, they are the everyday people that I live and breathe and rely on. Those are the families that we serve. I think that everybody should have um, a good place to live. Every family should enjoy that. It is so amazing to me to think about the people we need in this community who cannot afford to live close to home, that are being priced out of where their parents and their grandparents and their families have been born and raised. They have a right to not spend three hours a day on the road. They have a right living in, living in a nice home. I mean, they support my ability to live like that. Why should I not support their ability to live like that? We have the ability to address that shortage. The volunteers, the financial support from people and from companies, uh, from all sorts of organizations, from churches. Habitat East King County is the organization that can help bring that together. In 1998, it was decided that we would launch a new program here at Habitat for Humanity of East King County. It's our legacy of land. It's a way for us to ensure that the homes built here are kept in the affordable housing stock for years to come. The idea is that we maintain ownership of the land. We maintain a resale agreement as well. So when they sell their home, Habitat for Humanity East King County can buy it back and sell it to another family that earns less than 50% of median income. This way the land will stay in the affordable housing stock in perpetuity. So 20 years from now, we're still going to have those 50 homes in Snoqualmie and we're still going to renovate those homes and turn them over and provide them to the families in th of the future. The legacy in East King County, it is so bright. Working with people from, from other faiths, from other communities, from other jobs, it's really been fascinating. We have professional contractors that have come in and helped us out. We have local vendors that have provided the materials. We have our great volunteers who come out every day and help us build. We have our AmeriCorps team, we have our staff, and we have our sponsors and our donors. It really has taken the entire community to put together this Habitat community. From all the Habitat builds have been on across the country, or in other countries, uh, this is the biggest honor I've ever had. So, it's Habitat, so I'm going to give you a few. The home dedications are basically the icing on the cake. We have a, a technique at this particular Habitat site. We let everyone touch the house, and that's to kind of let the love flow out of all these volunteers and family members and into this house to surround this new family. It's, uh, it's really an emotional thing. Uh, months later, after they did their sweat equity, and they got their keys, and their kids are running around your feet, and and the talk and noise and you get to hand them that key and there's just no greater high. There's just no greater high. Thank you all! <laughs> and I always feel like, why are you thanking us? I mean, we should be thanking you for the opportunity actually to come out here and do this. There are so many deserving families and you want to say yes to any of them that meet the criteria. And um, it's heartbreaking when you have to say, let's hope and wait. But with the capacity building coming up forward, building more houses every year means one more family can, we can say yes to. We know that there's a need for more affordable housing in East King County. We know that we can build more houses here. We shouldn't do anything less than to 
increase our capacity to its full potential. The greatest joy is the day that you get to knock on someone's door and say, hey, you get to work on your new home. The hardest time is to think of the families that you have to say, we've got hope and you're a deserving family, but there's no home this year for you. And you try to do it in a way that inspires them hope and say, next year, apply again. But it all relies on getting those funding and those volunteers and getting other people to see the hope that they can make realized in someone's life. As the organization strengthened over the last few years, we had the opportunity to take what we had and grow it farther and be able to serve more families. And we came up with a plan, a plan where we would be able to build 20 houses a year. It's a big goal, uh, a big goal for us, but one that we believe in. Uh, one we know will be worth the hard work and effort, but one we know that this community can sustain. All of us collectively belong to the community. It's not just us and them. It's, it's all of us together.